Damn mud. Whoa. He was sliding sideways. <laughs> Too steep and with the mud he keeps sliding sideways. See, there he goes. Holy shit. <laughs> I see that yesterday where I couldn't get the truck up right here because of the mud. So I dug out a trench to kind of relieve some of the the water pressure and I did it right below the snow. Well that didn't work. There there was no water pressure there, so it must have been lower down. So it's next morning and the ground's got a crust, a frozen crust over the top and we're going to try it again. So let me go start the truck up and we'll get it, <laughs> we'll get it up here and see what happens. Dog's playing. Gotta love it. <laughs> cake they don't weigh that much now we're gonna go walk down to the stream our seasonal stream which is down here in the forest we're gonna take you with us and we're gonna use an app to try to figure out the elevation from the stream all the way up to the tank so we know what size pump we need to pump water up and I believe Stuart wants to go with the ram pump well it, depends on elevation no it, what it, <coughs> no coughing ow she, she just, just jumped up <laughs> so what the, what the thing is at first I was like, I don't got time to deal with the ram pump and deal with troubleshooting it because the, the creek's not going to be running that much. It's hard to do a video with the birds. Because the, the, the seasonal creek's not going to be running that much longer. But looking for like shallow well pumps and stuff like that, they don't have enough suction. They got the, head, they got the lift to lift it high, but they don't have the suction if that ah. makes any sense and what that means is putting the pump here and then running the hose down to the creek which with the elevations that i took on the with the iphone compass was 40 feet so shallow well pumps generally are 25 feet 28 feet I think it might work, but I don't, I don't want to do it. But being a couple hundred feet away, I didn't want to have to run extension cords down there. I didn't want to have to put a battery down there. Yeah. You know, so after, after doing some research, and we'll put it in the link, in, the, in, in a link, Clemson University has done all that stuff for you. So I started thinking about it. And remembered that uh, Wrangler Star and a guy from uh, Landa House did a half inch ram pump you know, with half inch fittings. And that seemed to work really good. It's not going to produce a lot of water, but that's okay. You know, over the course of three or four days, it'll fill the tanks. Which is good. Which is, which is fine. 1,500 gallons in three or four days, I think, is good. Yeah. So... We're just taking some elevations, and I'll take all that stuff and put it in the, the stupid Clemson ramp pump formula doodad, and I'll try and do some algebra. <laughs> so we got a, 
I just got done doing the elevations here. I'm doing. I'm going to take like five at each location, and then average them out because you know they only are accurate plus or minus so many degrees and there's so many, so many feet. So the app we loaded off of uh, the app store. Off the app store. It's given me different variances, you know. One at one, uh, one uh, da, 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 da. at one elevation, it gave me plus or minus 19 point something feet. Same location, it gave me plus or minus 25 feet. So I'm just gonna take them all, like five of them, and average them out. And See what happens. And that's what we're gonna go with. So we gotta go up here and get dog treats. Treats. I hope the birds don't follow us. They won't. All right, so we're gonna take you guys for a walk down to our seasonal creek. We actually have it, I don't think, we've really videoed down there too often. So you'll get to see our walk down there and get to see our seasonal creek. It's not gonna be running that much longer because we don't have a whole lot of snow left on the ground. So we're hoping that we can get this tank filled up before the creek actually stops running. Fingers crossed that this works. All the birds are following Stuart. Here, Goose. Good boy, Goose. Good boy, Gabby, come here. Come here, girl. Hi, buddy. Good girl, Gabby. Yeah. You all just stay there. No following. Crazy birds. Speed racer. I have to be careful on the snow because I will fall. Yeah, you will. And that snow is hard, so you have to be more careful. Alright, here we are. Our seasonal creek. Spring, whatever it is. Oh no, the guinea followed us down here. <laughs> oh, I hear the turkey too. Maybe the guinea will get lost. <laughs> I hear the female, no that's the female guinea. Yeah. So, so far, the elevations from the iPhone compass to this are way off. Oh, really? So now you don't even know which one is right. I'm going to take this one as more right. Okay. Because it seems more right. So, from here to the tank, the iPhone compass was giving me like 80 feet. So from here to... Which seemed a lot for me, because I, I just really don't think there's that much vertical lift, or vertical height. Here we're getting about 25 feet. That seems more That seems likely. more reasonable. Uh, right, so Mr. It, Tom followed us. So this spot here is where I want the ram pump to be, so... The next spot we're going to go to, that will give the height of the supply tube or the supply pipe, okay. which we need a minimum of five feet, but I, and I don't think it's there. Okay, so right here where the log crosses the creek bed, that's where I'm going to put a check dam with the, the drive pipe, that's what it's called, not the feed pipe. The drive pipe is gonna come out of there, the water's gonna back up a bit, it'll come out and drive it down to that place I just showed you. Where the ram pump is gonna be. You're so cute. Gabby, 
You're so cute, Gabby. Both of you say hi to William Bollum. Say hi, William, William. Hi, William. Gabby. So right here where we are, the boiling point of our water is 207.39 degrees. Piece of stupid, useless information. <laughs> All right. So now what? We go back up and average these out. And go All right. So what'd you find out? Take two. Take two. Did you push record this time? I pushed record. So we had to go back down and take the elevations again because I think I got the creek high side and the creek low side swapped. So we had to go back down and do that again. So that's all done. We got our elevations and our distances and from the tank down to the pump, whether we use a ram pump or something else. Who knows, it is 400 linear feet. So as a crow flies, it's 400 feet. So we'll need probably about 500 feet of pipe to you know, go through the trees and over the woods and around the... To the Grandma's house we go. To Grandmother's house we go. <laughs> so, the height from where the tank is going to be to the pump is 56 feet. Not 120 like the iPhone compass was saying it was. And from the cabin to the creek is only 14 feet. So, theoretically... In altitude? Uh-huh. Okay. So theoretically, we could use a shallow well pump to pump water from the creek. But we just need more water in that area. There's plenty of water there, but we need a bigger, a bigger catchment, I guess you could say. And then... From the tank to the cabin for gravity feed is 29 feet. With it being only 29 feet, we're only going to get about 12 and a half psi. And you can look up there's a just look up gravity fed uh, water psi, and there's a calculator that will tell you, you know, they'll do the measurements for you, or you can do it yourself. That's so that should be enough to gravity feed because we're going to gravity feed. The water into our tanks up here, right? Oh, well, that'll be in plenty enough to fill the tanks, but when it comes, we won't have pressurized water. Like for, so, like if we were to plummet directly to a sink in here, it wouldn't be enough pressure. It wouldn't be enough pressure. Now we can't. There's only two ways we can gain pressure, and that's either putting a booster pump on or putting the tank higher up in the hill, and. Um, Red Poppy Ranch put his tank up. He's got a really good video on his cistern tank install. How high he put it up the hill and how much pressure he got when he got everything connected. He's got a really good doodad on that. And then, uh, <coughs> so either lift the tank higher up on the hill or add a booster pump. So we can increase the diameter of the pipe. So originally I was thinking one inch coming from the gravity tank or coming from the tank. But if we took it up to an inch and a half coming out of the tank, we will increase flow, but not pressure. Got it. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? You guys need to tell me if I'm wrong or right. That's how I understand it. So comment below. Below. Down. Comment. Explain this to me. I'm a novice. I do a lot of reading. We learn from other YouTube channels. <laughs> yes, and the Google. And the Google. Bye. Thank you for watching, everyone. Today. Bye. Doesn't include you. <laughs> okay, bye.